Hello viewer, many thanks for being with us here on your first agricultural TV station in Nigeria. My name is Joshua Ishal, welcome to the program Back to Farm. Of course you already know Back to Farm is a program that tells you to roll up your sleeves and let's get back to the farm so that we can actually be able to be self-sufficient and of course reduce the number of unemployed youths in Nigeria. Of course, you know the Back to Farm program is a program that tells you all you need to do so you can actually go back to the farm. And today on the program, we'll be talking about sesame seed, popularly called the Beni seed, or better still, any region of the, uh, in Nigeria actually has a specific name in which it is called. And today we're going to be taking you on the step-to-step -step in which you can be able to grow them and the regions and states that they are being grown. Remember that sesame seed is an oil seed and as such the demand is quite high and Nigeria happens to be the seventh largest producer of sesame seed in the world and the second in Africa. So stay tuned as we're going to be taking you on this now. Sesame seed are a small oil rich seed that grow in ports on the sesamum indicum plants and are considered to be one of the oldest oil seed crops. The sesame plant is largely grown in tropical and subtropical parts of the world, including Africa and South America, as it is popular addition to many dishes across the globe. These seeds are packed with fiber protein and healthy fats. They also provide calcium, vitamin B, vitamin E, and antioxidants. Moreover, sesame seed can be eaten raw and are often added as garnishing on many dishes, while some recipes as tahini, which is used to make hummus, are solely made of sesame seeds. The global sesame seed market is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 2.3% in the forecast period of 2003 to 2028. Sesame seed are one of the highly sought after cash crop in Nigeria. It is second to cocoa in terms of export value. In fact, 90% of sesame seed produced in the country is exported abroad. The reason for the popularity of sesame seed is due to the numerous health and industrial benefits. Also, the seed has a higher oil content compared to other oil crops. Sesame oil, which is extracted from the seed, is useful in the cosmetic industry for producing body lotions and creams. This oil is also used in production of canned sardine, corned beef, margarine and soaps. It is also in high demand in bakeries, confectionaries, paint and pharmaceutical industries. Additionally, byproduct of sesame seed can be used to make animal feeds. In terms of health benefits, if you are in search of a vegetable oil with little or no cholesterol, then sesame seed oil is also an excellent alternative. Sesame oil is rich in vitamin, particularly vitamin E and pathetic acid. It is also an excellent source of essential amino acid, fatty acid, calcium and phosphorus. Globally, over 4.8 million tons of sesame seed are produced annually in Nigeria. Nigeria has a capacity to meet this production rate, yet the country produces just a little over 300,000 tons annually. This volume makes Nigeria the second largest producer of sesame seed in Africa and the seventh in the world. Currently, there are 26 sesame growing states in Nigeria. Some of these include Ebonyi states, Delta, Jigawa, Bauchi, Nasrawa, Benue, and Taraba states. The market for sesame seed is quite vast, with Japan and China as the major importers of these seeds. Countries like Turkey, India, Poland, Netherlands also traded with Nigeria in the past. The rising demand of various sesame seed is predictive to positively impact the sesame seed industry. These oil seeds come in white, black and brown varieties and are used in a variety of ways. In addition, this crop is resistant to unfavorable weather and required minimum attention. Moreover, the increased usage of sesame seed in the snacks and big goods industry is also expected to drive the market's growth. 
Furthermore, its nutty sweet taste and aroma make it a good condiment for toast, stir fries, and soups. These factors are estimated to enhance the overall market for sesame seeds in the forecast period. Sesame seed, also known as Beni seed in Nigeria, have gained significant popularity in recent years due to their nutritional benefits and economic value. Sesame seeds are oil-rich seeds that have been cultivated for countries and are widely used in various industries including culinary, medicinal and cosmetics. Nigeria is one of the largest producers of sesame seed globally and the demand for this crop continues to rise both locally and internationally. If we are considering venturing into sesame seed farming in Nigeria, this documentary is a comprehensive guide to help you get started. Number one, understand the sesame seed market. Before delving into sesame seed farming, it is crucial to conduct thorough market research, gain a comprehensive understanding of the demand, supply, and present trends in the local and international sesame seed markets. Familiarize yourself with the various types of sesame seeds and their specific uses in different industries. The next thing you will do is selecting the ideal location. Sesame seed requires specific environmental conditions to thrive. It is essential to choose a local a location that offers well-drained sandy loamy soil with a pH range of 6.0 to 7.0. Additionally, Sesame plants thrive in regions with a minimum rainfall of 500 to 600 mm per annum, distributed over growing season areas, such as Kano, Njigawa, Katsuna, Benue, have favorable agroecological conditions for sesame cultivation in Nigeria. Seed selection and planting is the next thing you do. Selecting high quality seed is crucial for successful sesame farming venture. Choose satisfied seed from reputable suppliers to ensure good germination rate and healthy plant growth. The recommended varieties for Nigerian conditions include UGR, Nicrobin, some varieties of sesame seed in Nigeria. Why sesame seed, sesame indicum? are the most common and widely grown variety in Nigeria. They are known for their light-colored seed, which have a mild, nutty flavor. White sesame seed are primarily used in baking, confection, or oil extraction industry. They are also suited for cultivation in various agroecological zones, including the northern state of Kano, Katsina, and Jigawa. These seeds require a well-drained soil with a pH level ranging from 6.0 to 7.0 and a temperature between 25 to 35 degrees Celsius. Brown sesame seed, sesame indicum. Brown sesame seed are another popular variety grow in Nigeria. They have a slightly stronger flavor compared to white sesame seed and often used in culinary applications such as seasoning, garnishing. Brown sesame seed are rich in antioxidant and essential nutrient. These are the cultivated and similar agroecological zones. That's why sesame seeds are require similar growing conditions. Let's look at the black sesame seed. Black sesame seed are less commonly cultivated but gaining popularity due to their unique color and flavor. They have a rich earthy taste and often used in traditional medicine and as a natural food colorant. Black sesame seed are known for their high oil content and nutritional value. They require well-drained loamy soil and can tolerate a wide range of temperature conditions. Some suitable regions for cultivating black sesame seed in Nigeria include Kwara, Nanja, and Benue states. The red sesame seed. Red sesame seed are a niche variety grown in specific regions of Nigeria. They have a deep red color and a robust smoky flavor. Red sesame seed are highly prized in the culinary industry for their visual appeal and the extensive taste. They are cultivated in the Middle Belt region of Nigeria, including Nasara Plateau State. This seed thrives in loamy soil with a good drainage and a pH level between 6.0 
to 70.0. Prepare the lime by plowing and harrowing to create a fine seed bed. Sesame seed can be sown directly in the field or through transplanting. Sowing directly is the most common method, and it should be done during the rainy season when the soil has sufficient moisture. Ultimate spacing between 30 to 45 centimeters between rows and 10 to 15 centimeters between plants. Let's look at the crop management. Proper crop management is crucial to maximize sesame seed yield. Here are some key practices to consider. Number one, irrigation. Sesame is a drought tolerant crop. However, providing irrigation during dry spells can significantly enhance yield. Adopt appropriate irrigation techniques such as furrow irrigation or sprinkler irrigation. Weed control. Weed competition can bumper sesame plant growth and productivity. Practice effective weed control methods such as hand weeding, mulching, and herbicide application. Fully manufacturer's recommendation. C. Let's look at the fertilizer application. Conduct a soil test to determine the nutrients required of your sesame crop. Apply organic manual on inorganic fertilizer based on the oil analysis result. Sesame generally requires nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in appropriate proportion. D. Disease and pest management. Monitor your sesame plants regularly for diseases like leaf spot and pests such as aphid and stem borers. Implement integrated pest management strategies, including the use of resistant varieties, crop rotation, biological control agent, and judicious pesticides application. Common pests affecting sesame seed, amphidia. Amphid are small soft-bodied insects that feed on plant sap, causing stunted growth, yellowing of leaves, and distortion of shoots. These pests can transmit viral disease such as sesame phyllody, which results in flower abortion and reduced seed production. Regular scouting and early detection are crucial for effective management and insecticide and soap, neem oil, and natural predators like ladybugs can be employed as control measures. White flies. White flies are tiny sap sucking insects that infest sesame plants, particularly the underside of leaf. Their feet cause leaf yellowing and reduce plant's vigor and the development of salty mold. Additional white flies transmit viral disease including sesame leaf cold virus, proper fuel san sanitization, cultural practices, yellow sticky traps, and insecticides can be used to manage white fly population effectively. Capside bulbs. Capside bulbs are piercing soaking insects that damage sesame crumbs by feeding on the developing seed. Their feeding activity cause seed deformities, shriveled seed, and reduce oil content. Insecticide application during early infestation stages, corroboration, and maintaining weed free field can help control these pests. Common disease affecting sesame seed farming. Fusarium. Fusarium wilt is a soil borne fungal disease that affects the vacuolar system of sesame plant. It causes wilting, yellowing of leaves, and ultimately plant death. Crop rotation planting, disease resistant varieties, soil solarization, and proper fuel drainage can help manage this disease. Formal blight. Formal blight is a fungal disease that primarily affects sesame leaves, stems, and capsules. Symptoms include dark lesion, leaf spot, stem cankers, and premature seed shattering. Crop rotation, use of disease free seeds, and timely fungicide. Application can help control former blinds. Alternaria leaf sport. Alternaria leaf sport is a foliar disease that leads to the development of brown circular lesson on sesame leaves. Severe infection can cause defoliation and reduce photosynthesis. Crop rotation, proper field sanitation, and foliar fungicide application are recommended management practices. Prevent measures and integrated pest management strategies. Now, let's look at the preventive measures and integrated pest management strategies. Crop rotation. Practicing crop rotation helps break pest and disease cycles by reducing the buildup of pathogens and pests and soils. Avoid planting sesame seed in consecutive seasons in the same field and rotate with non-host crops. Use of disease-resistant varieties. 
Selecting disease-resistant sesame seed varieties and effective preventive measures console local agricultural extension services or seed supplies for information on resistant cultivars cultivars suitable for the region. Now, let's look at field sanitation. Maintaining clean and weed-free field reduces the chances of pests and diseases infesting the crop. Remove crop debris and weed, which can harbor pathogens and pests. Now, let's look at monitoring and early detection. Regular field monitoring is crucial for detecting pests and disease infections in the early stages. Scored for signs of pest damage, disease symptoms, or abnormal plant growth. Early detection allows for timely intervention. Now, let's look at biological control and beneficial insects. Encouraging natural predators and beneficial insects such as ladybugs and lace wings can help control pest population. Avoid unnecessary pesticide applications that harm beneficial insects. Proper irrigation and drainage. Maintaining adequate soil moisture levels and ensuring proper drainage can reduce the risk of soil bones disease and promote healthy plant growth. Harvesting and post harvest growth. Now let's look at harvesting and post harvesting handling. Sesame seeds are ready for harvest when the capsule stone yellow and begins to crack open. Avoid excessive delays in harvesting to prevent seed loss due to shattering. Cut the plants closely to the ground and hang them upside down in a well-ventilated area for drying. Sesame seed yield per hectare is about 1 to 1.5 tons every year depending on the variety. Once the capsules are fully dry, stretch them to, the separate, to separate the seed. Clean the seed to remove any debris or immature seed properly. So the sesame seed in clean, dry and well-ventilated containers to maintain their quality. Now, let's talk about marketing and selling. Develop a marketing plan to connect with potential buyers or sesame seed protection companies. Network with local agricultural cooperative exporters and traders to explore market opportunities. Additionally, consider value addition by processing sesame seed into products like oil or tahini, which can attract higher prices. Finally, Starting sesame seed farming in Nigeria can be lucrative and rewarding venture by understanding the market, selecting the right location, employing appropriate crop management techniques, and focusing on effective marketing. You can build a successful sesame farming business. Remember to stay updated with the latest research and industry practice to maximize your yield and profitability. With dedication and perseverance, your sesame seed farm can flourish contributing to both the economic growth and the overall agricultural development in Nigeria.
many times for saying it us here on Agriculture Research Council of Nigerian Television. I'm sure you must have learned a lot about the sesame seed. In fact, it's one of the most lucrative or rather the most exported commodity in Nigeria. So if I were you, it's time to get to the debt so you can actually be able to put your own quota to development on Nigeria on agricultural sector. Until some other time, my name remains Joshua Ishaya and thank you for being a part of it. Bye for now.